Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Evolution Amber Ale from Wasatch Brewing, part of the Utah Brewers Cooperative. Wasatch founded in 1986, I think. Enjoy by March 2nd, 2016. We're a little bit past the date there. Um, my fault, not the company's fault, not the store's fault. Kept putting it off, 4% alcohol, so I got to be fair with it. Bad date, guys, and I overlooked it. Amber Ale, 4% alcohol, unfiltered. It gets an okay score in Beer Advocate. A 31 out of 100 on Rape Beer, a 36 out of 100. Hundred for the style, and this is style, and this is the first video review for this beer in the world. And following up with that, the still double, double. Uh, I hope it's good. This thing, I'm making it through it. I'm making it through it, and you hate to give it a bad rating. The company sent me the beer for free. It smells okay, but the taste just was. Has some chocolate notes, has fruity notes, but the notes are not good. It's sort of cloudy here about 10 a.m. It's warming quickly. I don't even really need this undershirt. All right, uh, some people will comment to me, I can't find that beer anywhere. Uh, say, uh, squatters and wasatch is common here. It may be unheard of in other places. Amber Ale, okay, I'll go along with that. Not the, I'm not saying I'm going along with the fact that it's an Amber Ale. Obviously it is. I mean, I'll go along with the idea that I'll probably like it. I like Amber beers, like the Ziegenbach, Michelob Amberbach. Amber Ales, fine. Lagers, Ales, 4% four four like this, up to 55 uh, you know not that big of a they're kind of within the same area oh it's bubbly have it in the distilled glass it is fiercely bubbly in fact it's sort of hazy I mean they're saying it's unfiltered these beers are unfiltered but they are not opaque and they are not cloudy really just a slight bit of haze a mostly white head a little off white bone white let's check it out okay it wasn't expensive. I bought it at Quista Paces. Um, it smells like brown bread crust. It smells um, a little... I don't want to say caramel, like uh, toffee and barley and uh, medium roasted barley and a little... Um, like or something um, it's it's um it's a really a nice it's really it's really a nice aroma okay uh -oh. bees when these azalea bushes bloom full bloom the bees will just be going berserk all around my head but they don't bite you know they don't sting me they're too busy like getting nectar drunk <sighs> smells a little pungent and it's sort of a rich aroma so it looks good it smells good it's starting off really nice now that that one over there didn't really look that good it smelled nice and then things fell apart very quickly yeah it's good okay four percent it's not gonna be really bold dynamic outstanding incredible or any of those things this is an extremely mild amber ale okay it's probably two out of five at the most sugar cubes on the cyclops scale one out of five hop cones it is not bitter the mouthfeel is medium light to medium it's got a crisp finish it's refreshing it's easy going um Now, <laughs> the price is going to be around $8.99 a six-pack. Here's the problem. 
Is there a problem with the taste, the body, the finish, the aroma, the appearance, or anything of this beer? Nothing, nothing. So you might say, well, give it a, give it an A, a most excellent, or higher. Yeah, you could go along with that. There's a problem, though. There's a price factor issue. It does have to be considered, though, because I mean, I can get the Bush Signature Copper Lager, which is 5.7% alcohol, so it has more of an alcohol heft. It has more body. It has, you know, more flavor. Not way more flavor, but it has more flavor. It's $8 a 12-pack. This is $9, $8.99 a 6-pack. Okay, so you can go to some stores and they'll have Newcastle Brown Ale, $13.99 a 12-pack, you know, on special. That's going to be this. It has more flavor than this. It's a, you know, a little bit more alcoholic than this. Um, you can buy the Ziegenbach. Uh, well, you know, that's six six ninety nine a, a six pack. Still cheaper. Um, third shift, amber lager. Uh, same price, six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. It'll never be more than that. A six pack. Of course, you probably never find it. Um, <coughs> If you live in certain states like Virginia, you'll see the Rolling Rock Amber Lager. And you might find that for $4.99 a six pack. No joke, $8 a 12 pack. It's as good as this. And so, I mean, so you can see where it, uh, that has to be considered. George Killian's Irish Red. So, you know, I'm just like, it's like a flood of ideas coming out of my head to uh, compare this to. You factor out price. You f I don't know what that was running. You factor out price considerations. Yeah, it's great. You know, it's an A minus. It's in the lower end of excellent, but it's enjoyable, everything. You bring in price considerations, which, I mean, after all, we are buying the beer. It's a consideration considering, let me not, be uh, redundant. It's a consideration when you take into account that you're going to have to pay for the product. So, I mean, yeah, for a one-time sampling, fine. As an everyday drinker, I'm going to buy the copper lager. And that's the way it, it shakes out. Uh, so, no complaints in a, in a general sense. So, laissez les bon temps rouler. Um, excellent but uh, you do have to look at those other factors and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana okay uh.